Okay. Hello, YouTube. This is the DVT Gaming Show. And this is still episode 14. And this is part 3 of my Sonic Mug Collection review. Now, you still you haven't watched part 1 and 2 yet. I suggest you watch part, I suggest you watch part 1 and part 2 before you watch this part. Now, let's pick up where I left off. I left off just before explaining the very crappy game, Waste of Space, game known as Blue Spear. Blue Spear is a very, very bad game because Blue Spear is basically a collection of all the special stages in Sonic Nature 3, Sonic so and Knuckles. It, you know, it's all the special stages in those two games. It's basically that you play the special stages. The special stages are very cool, but I have to say, this is the, this is one of the worst things to put on a med collection disc. Blue Spear is a it's pointless and it's a waste of data. It's barely even worth unlocking. So I can't be bothered even showing you it. I mean, I was right to show you a bit, but for some reason I can't need to work at all. So let's move on to, to the next game, which is Knuckles in Sonic 2. Knuckles in Sonic 2 is very much the same as Sonic 2 itself. Sonic 2 itself is a very good game, but Sonic 2 can also be played with Knuckles. But anyway, Knuckles isn't really that much different. It isn't really that much different. It's still the same game, but only the only difference you can play play a basic game as Knuckles. I'm not sure, but I think the ending's still the same as well. So that's that, really. Let's move on to our next game. Right, time for my all-time favorite 2D Sonic game. Sonic 3, awesome game. Sonic and Knuckles, alright game. Put them together, get the best 2D Sonic game ever made. Period. Now on the Sega Genesis when this first came out, you got a, when you played Sonic 3, and when you played Sonic and Knuckles, you, when, you got, when you bought Sonic and Knuckles, you got a bonus card. This bonus card which allowed you to put allowed you to put Sonic 3 on top of the Sonic and Knuckles game. And when you did this, you unlocked two new games. You know, you know, one new game called Sonic 3 and Knuckles. This combined both games together. So you can actually play as Knuckles the Echidna in Sonic 3. Also, if you put Sonic 2 in the original Genesis cartridge collection, in the um, Sonic and Knuckles cartridge, you also got Knuckles in Sonic 2, which I just explained, which I just showed you earlier. Now, when you're playing Sonic 3, you may have noticed you can't really, it, it doesn't always feel like you've finished it. But when you play Sonic 3 and Knuckles, you get to do something that really is good. You get to play all three characters so you get three different story modes. Knuckles' story is very good, but he still can't punch, unfortunately. Basically, it's good. This game basically has all Sonic 3 levels and all Sonic and Knuckles levels, and they're combined together into one great game. Now, when you complete the game with all seven care symbols, you have to cut the super care symbols. The super care symbols allow you to go and defeat the super boss. The super boss is very hard in this game. As you can see, I've collected all seven super symbols with all three characters because I love this game so much. I'm going to show you a bit of the super boss. This is the very first game where Supersonic actually goes into space and chases down Dr. Robotnik once and for all to rescue Knuckles' greatest treasure, the Master Emerald. 
in this game, the Sonic, Super Sonic can't really do that much. He can't, he has no attacks whatsoever. All he can do is basically move around. But, have no fear, Sonic, Super Sonic is still invincible. So anything he touches won't even jar him. So that's Sonic that's Sonic Free Knuckles. That's Knuckles and Sonic Free, I mean. Um and that's probably the best game on this entire disc. Okay. The next game is Sonic 3D, the very first 3D Sonic game. This game is really, really good, but there's only one problem with it. Sonic isn't very fast. And the Sega, and when you load the game, you'll hear the worst Sega sound. You know, worst Sega sound ever made. I'll play it to you now, because this Sega sound sounds stupid. What happened to the old-fashioned voice that says Sega? This sounds awful. Listen to this. Who in the world did they hire to say Sega? I mean, I know it's not such a big deal, but that voice is terrible. Sonic 3D, quite a lot of people think Sonic 3D is not a 3D Sonic game, and in a way I do agree with them, because Sonic 3D is basically playing Sonic by a bird's eye view, so it just looks 3D. So in a way, Sonic 3D is not 3D at all. And the biggest problem with Sonic 3D is that it's different. Now being different is not really a bad thing. First things first, Sonic 3D... The big problem is that Sonic moves a little bit too slow for my liking. You can still jump the air button, you hold B this time to a spin dash. But it's a really good Sonic game. Now to get to the end of the levels in this game, you do something different. Basically, you have to collect and destroy robots. Once you destroy the robots, you get a little bird called a flicker. You collect five flickers to base a level, and you get to pop these flickies in a, in a giant ring. Once you collect all five flickers, I put in a giant ring, you can move on to the next stage. There are chairs in this level, but I can't in this game, but I can't imagine to get to them. So I'm really sorry, but I can't show you them. Yeah, there's still items in this game, and still rings. So it's very much the same as any other Sonic game. Your main boss is still Dr. Robotnik. In this game, there is no Super Sonic. The end doesn't really change that much if you collect all seven Chaos Emeralds. If you collect all seven Chaos Emeralds, you'll be able to fight a secret boss. And that secret boss is really, really hard. But nevertheless, it's still a very good Sonic game. So, that's basically all I can tell you. So let's move on to the next game on this disc. I'm very sorry, YouTube. I've run out of time again. So join me in part four, where I will try and finish off reviewing this awesome game. So until next time, bye-bye.